Well, I'm curious, like, who did you beat Richter with? Greninja. Snake? Oh, Greninja. Snake. Really? That's interesting. I can see that counter would be really obnoxious to deal with. Really? It, it does move him. Three, Lose who? Two, Greninja. One, That's true. Go! Also, Water Shuriken's a pretty good option, and then having to deal with this weird, like, the way Greninja moves is really weird. He also does have a lot of combos, so if he gets a straight, one of his, like, straight hits in, that can lead to a lot of pressure. Yeah, I wonder... He must have really... I wonder why he preferred to go... Battlefield over PS2. Because your options here, when it comes down to it, when it comes to striking... You're gone. You don't have FD. You don't have Town. I think it's just platform movement. You think so? I feel like it might be platform movement. I could be wrong, because he isn't really utilizing the force at the moment. Yeah, and you definitely don't want Smashville versus Snake. So, I'm curious. This looks pretty even. And it's definitely going to be a patient game of aerials over and over and over. That was a good way by Fireball to actually wait for the grenade to get near to Cook before he threw out the before he threw. Oh, that might be why the platforms went wow. on Smash. This Greninja. He's one of the more obscure characters in this game. Not many people play Greninja. So it's also like matchup into familiar, I feel like. Yes. He does, he does play similar to Smash 4, but he also is slightly different at the same time. Who? Name Fireball? No, or Greninja. Oh, Greninja? Yes. He still has a very similar game plan to Smash 4, but I feel, there's like a minute difference. I there, don't, can't put my yes, game down. That, I, that makes it play It's the conversions into deaths. It's no, not relying a lot on down air. Um, it's more relying on uh, catching your landings, um, going in with dash attack, converting off a of shuriken. Okay. Well, I, I, he was just standing there waiting to up tilt. <laughs> he wants it. Yeah. I mean, it would kill the Prince. Okay, we'll get some, misses the up air. Wow. Nice. Catches. Was that a you? No, I think it was a grenade. That makes sense. So one up till baby. And he's really close to getting the guaranteed down throw to up till. It's like 155 in most cases. 160. Yeah, I thought it was 160 with the guaranteed percent. Alright, well. That is like. Oh. Yeah, we just catch the down throw, seals it back up. Was struggling a little bit at the beginning, it seemed like crazy, but kind of kind of caught him through. Felt out the Greenwich a bit more, and now it's a little bit close to even. Alright, so just dash attacks the water shuriken. And this is where Snake excels, just the ledge trapping. So we'll just roll past everything, get him off stage again. Okay, just tries to fare him out of the, the Yo! Cipher. Great grenade. grenade! Frame one, baby! Pretty good move. You know, I think Snake's mobility, in terms of how slow it is off stage, it actually is really good for Greninja. Just overall, just because of how quickly he jumps in the air with his forward air. Yeah. And how able, like how quickly he is able to kind of pressure him. Yeah, he gets it's, kind of, yep, yeah. it's really good. You can just kind of wait for Snake to pick an option and try to exactly. adapt accordingly to that. Exactly. And the thing is, I don't think we've seen AC land a successful dash attack pretty often. And I think this is hard because he's playing the camping game, which is typically how it should go with Snake on the stage. But when you're at a stock deficit as big as this, it's kind of forcing AC to rethink some things. Yeah. I feel like another thing AC can do though is hold on to games just a bit longer and hope that name fireball like tries to hit his shield. Because yes. if he does, Greninja has big hitboxes. Nice parry. And most of them will probably trigger the grenade to explode. Almost got the conversion off the grenade. Patience. Just look at that patience from AC. He's away. Oh, oh catch Ooh, the... He just knew. Punish the dash grab with the... I don't think he even cared if it was dash attack or grab because with how big the hitbox is, worst case scenario, I think it would have clanked. But that would have been better for AC because he would have traded yeah, exactly. one anyways. Exactly. Okay, so Darius out of shield. Oh, no. catch is cool. Yeah, that's one thing that... Dash attack. Oh, he's, he's back at the momentum. He's yeah. like... Oh, he has all the momentum right now. Can he get one convert? He just needs to make sure he... Ooh, no air dodge. Nice. So we can see a dash attack. Oh. Yo, that's... Oh, wow, that, that, was a, that was a great DI. Fantastic. Air dodge. Oh, yeah. catch him with a down smash. Okay. So, the name Fireball actually doing really well. He, so, he's actually taking note of his patterns really well. He's, our name Fireball is, um, he
he is realizing that there are certain ways of him recovering for our AC is, and he's been punishing the high recoveries with fair, just with how fast Greninja is. And for the one time he recovered low, typically they like to air dodge in, and he, he noted that. That was like his one opportunity because to, to take the game right there because AC was bringing it all the way back. Yep. The one thing, uh, another thing that the fireball is doing is he's breaking AC's zone really well. And he's not really letting AC set up the zone very too often, but when he does, he's also really, it seems like he's really used to just breaking in general. So we see AC's actually slowing it down a little bit, and because he is, he's actually tending to get a lot more of his conversions. He's also getting a lot more punishes, obviously. The fireball seems to be trying to ramp it up just a little bit. He's been hitting dash attack a lot. Nice. Oh, catches the restraining hit of upper, but we'll trade with a grenade. The nice thing about uh, his forward air is it can space perfectly to where he can like just miss the grenade if it's on the ground. See that? It kind of just slices the snake, but doesn't slice the grenade right there. Mm -hmm. Nice patience. Realizing he doesn't have to hit him right, right now. Pivot grab. Okay. Goes high. Okay, I think he has to. I think he's realizing he can't just hit snake anytime he wants. I I'm wondering if we're going to see the counter soon. Just like out of nowhere. Ooh. Ooh. Wouldn't surprise me. He, because he hasn't uh, gave us stage control. Dash tag up to him. <laughs> Oh, we're good. Oh, there's the counter. Oh, that is so safe. I didn't know he could do that. Yeah, no, he can control. Uh, Grinder can control his counters at any of the A Cardinals or Semi Cardinals. Okay, that's good to know. I was also wondering at what point is he gonna do like dash attack into bait air dodge? That's death. Nice air dodge. Counter. I wonder why he just counter the. Um... Because if AC delays it any slight bit. It oh, you're right. Yeah. It'll just hit him. Yeah. Oh, the bird's off the grenade. Grenade was too much. It's too much percent. Yep. It's too close. Water triggering pressure. We'll get punished for daring onto and put that down there. AC trying to catch it with the C4 as well. I think he's willing to take the trays right now. I don't, I don't feel like he should, should actually take the trays. Did he dash attack through the grenade? I don't know yeah. what he did. That was interesting. AC used the grenades as shields versus the water shaker, it seemed like. I think the pummel, pummel there just threw him immediately. Oh. You gotta keep you gotta keep track of where the C4 is because he almost died. You know, he didn't die. He, he like was about to be even with him. Nice dash attack. And just gets the Oh try to catch that first strike. Ooh. Fireball barely getting clutch, but will get hit by the grenade into the backer. It's caught by Nikita air dodging. Great Straight to the corner. Great angle. Wow. Oh, the up Low up, profile. This is anyone's game. As I say this, something's going to happen. AC's, <laughs> yeah, AC is doing a really good job at the very least of not getting hit by the upper air catches. Oh, what do you yep. do? What do you do there? Oh, just a straight fair hit, but AC, or Snake, I should say, being a heavy character he is. We'll nice catch. Top of that one. We'll die to that one, though. Nice catch. Anybody's game. C4 on deck. Well, patient. He, 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 AC play more he, of the patient range game. I was wondering, because like Snake wants you to approach when you're camping, and you were winning. You weren't winning, but. Okay, punches the grenade for what that up smash. Is that even? I would just spam the water, dude. Come on, don't give him. Okay. Oh, punches now. As he managed to stay. Slightly. Fireball's been really good about not actually getting ledge trapped by AC, but gets caught by the up tilt thrown above him. Alright. AC has the slight momentum now. Ooh. But as I say that. That was clean. We've seen air dodge? No. Played it safe. Has C4 set up right side. Up air. Nice oh, up tilt. Yep. Brings it back even more. Well done by AC, tying it up. But, you know. Where is he gonna go? Is he gonna go Kalos? Is he gonna go town? I feel I like he'd want to ban Kalos and to. FD. He has to choose between town, Kalos, FD, and maybe PS2. I feel like he'd want. Oh, so actually, that's very interesting. I feel like he'd want to get rid of Kalos and or Kalos and town or FD. That way, he doesn't have to deal with Water Shirk in up front. That and the thing is, this is kind of like a pseudo FD. 
with like wall jumps on the side and uh, some, I don't know how, I don't think the platform's gonna be that big of a deal. The only thing I can think is like AC's gonna run to platform and camp. I, wow, he's actually rushing down. Okay. I feel like he wants to establish the lead first, that way he can force Fireball to approach him. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, I think he's, the way, look at the way he's moving. He's trying to catch his, his landing with dash attack. Oh. Okay, and yep, nice. well, this, is, this is what AC wants now because nice and two now that Fireball is behind, he has to approach and play oh. a little bit more aggressive. This man has all the momentum. Yeah. That Nair does so much damage. You have to go in the good trick of pull grenade. Was there a grenade there? Yeah, there was. Yeah, he pulled it I early. I can even see it. Dash tagging coming. Up tilt. Death. Well, still fun. Yeah, well, now AC has a solid lead. Fireball has to, now has to approach. AC has literally no reason to do anything. He oh, actually camp. doesn't. He's just going to cap the platform. Yeah, he doesn't have to do anything else. There's no reason for him to. His water shuriken isn't going to do much. And he does have those platforms to retreat to now. And he, he could bring this back. He's probably going to air dodge. Ooh. He still has the Cypher, though. Oh, that's definitely yeah. it. I would have just far out. I would just I would have just hold, held a grenade to like re-explode. You know, uh, I'm not a snake man. It wouldn't do that. It wouldn't pop in time. You think so? Yeah, it takes five seconds. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's five seconds for grenade to explode, and snake's too heavy for that for it to wait that long. I think one thing Fireball needs to realize is when he's landing like that, he he, he keeps getting dash attacked every single time. Yeah, he's not really mixing with the double jump one. And he's, like, yeah. Hit him. Alright, oh, not nice. Good DI. Okay, okay. Oh. He's, he's, got, he's got to have some, like, clean conversion here. Yeah, he keeps landing on top of AC when he pulls a grenade, and that's happening every single time. Just free percentage for AC. Ooh. That's the pivot So, the he's been doing good with catching AC as he evades. The only thing is, like, he doesn't really know what to do when AC lands with a platform, lands on a platform with a grenade. Especially this as well. This is hard. Uh, Up till yep. yep. Okay. Oh, nice. Get the, get the guaranteed percent. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this is once again. Good job on AC to adapt into how main part will play there in game one. He always seems to be shrunk to set up his own, but like game two and three, it's just he takes the lead, and now Fireball is having a lot of trouble just breaking that zone, getting momentum back. AC just kind of chilling. I think it's definitely like. I think AC definitely like zoned in games two and three because he's playing a lot more confident. It's not gonna kill you guys. You know, Snake is heavy as well. Um, yeah, I don't. This is gonna be a really it's gonna be hail mary if he gets the stock right now. Yeah, he has to go really hard in order to get this. Yeah, he's at a really dangerous percentage. Two more, like maybe one or two more hits, and he's at the down throw off still again. At, at this point, I think AC is just gonna hold grenades and shields because if he trades with him at all, he's just gonna get closer and closer to kill percent with this like stock. Yeah, he needs like one more trade, and then he wins. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah and also good job to AC. We'll you guys are sorry. Are they putting nitro up? Any easy risk? I have no idea. I don't want to play it. If I do, I have to go use the restroom real quick. Let me check. Put nitro. Okay, can I use the restroom then? Because I was, yeah. Okay, it's gone close to the restroom, so I will be right back.
Oops. Lower that one. Hey, chat. It's uh, it's Javi from uh, 2DG. Uh, running the stream right now. We have a couple matches um, going on in pool number two. We have AEM, I believe. He is in another um, game. So. Anyways. Uh, yeah. He, oh my god. Really? How come they get the big microphones and we only get like a speaker? Anyway, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the sets. Um, also, hope you guys are enjoying the little scoreboard right here in between the, the player cam and the gameplay. Uh, that took kind of a long time to actually figure out. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for subbing during the stream. Uh, thank you guys for following during the stream. Uh, you guys would keep this train rolling. Anyways. Here's the next match in uh, Winner's Quarters. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Boop.